The sixth presenter, last but not least, is Professor Amarendra Prasad Bahera. Professor Bahera is currently working as Joint Director at Central Institute of Educational Technology, a constituent of NCERT. He has published papers in various national level journals, attended and presented papers, chaired technical sessions in several national and international seminars as well. Professor Behera also supported the government of Mauritius, the MIE and the Open University of Mauritius. To develop an open educational repository portal for creation, mobile app, and dissemination of digital contents. Also associated with UNESCO, Bangkok, for promotion of ICTs in education and learning in SAARC countries. Recently, Professor Behera worked with Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Australia, Taiwan, Kenya, and is in the process of entering into a memorandum of understanding to promote ICTs in education and learning. Professor Behera participated in Education for Sustainable Development meeting at New York, USA, and shared ICT initiatives with participants from different countries in Africa and Europe. Professor Behera has guided four research scholars and is also guiding two more researchers working in the area of ICTs in education and learning. He has evaluated more than 30 PhD theses. So I invite Professor Behera to start his presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Dr. Budin. Uh, for inviting for the presentation and uh, also I thank the organizers, especially um, the Mauritius Institute of Education and uh, also um, our esteemed Professor Bama and uh, the faculty members. Uh, esteemed uh, co-presenters from different countries, Honorable Professor Bama and uh, distinguished colleagues who are participating in this uh, program. Uh, intelligentsia, uh, around 135 people are participating. First of all, on my personal behalf, on behalf of India, I welcome all of you to this 10-minute session. Um, on the case study uh, of India, uh, particularly in the COVID-19 situation, and how we are uh, managing the uh, COVID-19 situation. I think my presentation is uh, coming clear. Uh, can you see it? And as uh, uh, all of us, we know that we are fighting with COVID-19 and uh, are uh, practicing social distancing and uh, trying to get safe and uh, also simultaneously making learning as a continuum since it is a new normal uh, now continuing. And no doubt, uh, Professor Bhabma rightly mentioned and some of the panelists, so that uh, um, no doubt we, have, we are facing challenges but we have a lot of opportunities also. So I'm going to present a case from India and I'm representing Central Institute of Educational Technology, NCERT. It is a government of India agency, a research and development institute uh, working in school education and teacher education. So if I take you through the next slide, so this is Indian scenario. We have 1.3 billion population, 1.5 million schools, 900 plus universities and uh, more than 330 million students, uh, including school education and higher education. And nearly 10 million teachers alone in school education. So uh, maybe uh, around uh, uh, two more million could be added if we uh, include uh, the higher education also. So imparting quality education was otherwise a challenge, but in COVID situation, the challenge has further multiply and skill training of two third of our population who are youth is also a challenge. So in that case, COVID-19, during COVID-19 situation, bridging the digital divide and continuing the learning was a, a challenge uh, which we took off uh, in letter and spirit. And if I take you through, I'll not go to theory, which you uh, already know, uh, but during this COVID-19 situation, we tried to manage the school education 
and uh, to some extent the teacher education which is our mandate and uh, uh, my institute under the ministry of human resource development government of india developed an alternative academic calendar for class 1 to class 12 so that even if children are at home with the home uh, situation materials at home and uh, digital resources uh, um, uh, which can be uh, accessed so uh, they can learn at home so for that we um, also used dts tv channels in india in education sector we have 32 dts tv channels direct to home tv channels and uh, my institute is using one dts tv channel on 24 by 7 basis for uh, class 1 to 12 students for teachers and uh, even for educators also for the counselors as well and we are also using 15 radio broadcast channels and interactive voice response system also to reach out and interact with the uh, stakeholders similarly we have a couple of open educational resource repositories created already as in the form of portals and also these resources are available through popular apps across the country mobile apps across the country we have online courses for students and teachers and webinars for students and teachers and counseling sessions through dts tv channel for uh, students and uh, teachers as well as far as the tv uh, telecast is concerned every day we are having 7 hours live telecast uh, for students and teachers and for each level so and for primary uh, class 1 to 5 one and a half hours secondary uh, is uh, um, upper primary 6 to 8th class uh, one and a half hours secondary 9th and 10th class one and a half hours then uh, senior secondary which is class 11th and 12th one and a half hours then teachers uh, one hour daily uh, including saturday and sunday and for counseling service to students half an hour daily live telecast with phone in Uh, programs let me take you through the portals and apps uh, which we are using for this particular purposes these are nearly uh, a dozen of initiatives we have uh, taken up under uh, this uh, um, initiative and uh, if i take you through the initiatives one after another so uh, this initiative is called diksha so digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing so we have 90000 plus Uh, e-books and uh, e-contents, and nearly one billion page views were noticed during this COVID period. Around in uh, two months' time, so we could uh, uh, find that nearly hundred uh, one billion uh, page views were there as far as the resource uses are uh, concerned. And we have all the dig digital books from class one to twelve, which can be accessed through a mobile app and the portal. so through uh, this portal and one app also this uh, um, portal is supported with a mobile app android app and similarly we have a, a portal called uh, swayam we call it a study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds and we have nearly 2000 mooks available on this platform nearly 20 million learners are enrolled uh, during this time and also using these courses my institute is running uh, 33 uh, mooks and uh, nearly 85000 plus people are involved in seventh cycle because we are running seventh cycle of the, this uh, mooks uh, during this uh, covid time uh, this is a platform called nistha n i s h t h a this is a national initiative for school heads and teachers holistic advancement and this portal Uh, is having teacher training courses this is an online portal uh, for classes 1 to uh, 12 and all the training resources including a dashboard even forums uh, uh, even uh, additional resources are uploaded here so that teachers can uh, take up this course we are running this uh, uh, portal for training of uh, capacity building of around 4.2 million teachers who teach from class 1 to 8 and uh, we have this e patsala uh, e patsala means e school electronic school this is a portal and uh, uh, nearly um, uh, 
uh, 700 million uh, people are using uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, portal and there are 3.3 million app downloads also and this portal is having all digital books from classes 1 to uh, 12 so that uh, students they can get the books through the portal as pdf epub and flip book on uh, their mobile app this is a landing page and plus plus screen uh, of the mobile app so this app is available in three languages indian languages english hindi and urdu and there are nearly 700 e books available here and nearly 3500 audios videos available here on the app and uh, government of india has launched one umang app unified mobile application for new age governance there are 400 mobile apps integrated with this uh, mega app so uh, all utility service app including education is available here and we have branded e patsala e school mobile app we have nine apps now developed under this including a qr code uh, we have a printed qr quick response codes on the all the textbooks and chapters students can scan these qr codes and uh, uh, see the e resources and also we have uh, for the training teacher training also the nista app for augmented reality and virtual reality to uh, enable the diagrams charts given in the book suppose there is a electric circuit diagram so as soon as they bring that up and uh, read that diagram the diagram will start functioning and uh, become live so children can control the speed of that uh, uh, wheel also and uh, increase and decrease so under this chain we have uh, awesome, in collaboration with marishas institute of education and open university marishas we have also helped uh, the both the uh, collaborated to develop a mobile app for ssp student support program of uh, marishas which is yet to be formally launched by uh, marishas republic of marishas i think they will be talking more dr wiki um, uh, also mentioned uh, about the ssp portal we have a an oer portal another called uh, for school education national repository of open educational resources and using this portal we are also uh, sharing more than 18000 plus content there are 2.2 million um, uh, 0.2 million 2.2.5 million people come to this portal every day and there are 9000 unique users on this portal uh, so uh, we have this is a um, portal for uh, managing the 32 dts tv channels uh, we are running and uh, um, there are many the, all these videos are also available on youtube channel so there are nearly 500 uh, million people uh, million views of uh, our resources on um, um, this particular uh, particularly on youtube and the programs telecast uh, on 32 channels their telecast schedules are available here and we have developed ict curriculum a learning management system using model and students and teachers uh, uh, school education they can come they can enhance their knowledge and uh, we uh, take different series and we are also running a series and now we cyber safety and security is a major concern now in collaboration with unesco new delhi and also on our uh, own under the ministry of education uh, human resource development we have developed a um uh, several uh, handouts brochures for students teachers teacher educator parents and schools so that they can be safe at home and practice uh, social distancing and learn online so without any uh, glitches there are uh, uh, remote hilly tribal rural areas in india so we use 2g uh, networks also in some places uh, using social media and interactive voice response system also uh for audio based support to the students teachers and all um, there are some upcoming uh, initiatives our honorable prime minister has taken so he want that we should launch one tv channel per class and one radio channel per class and manage la large data and analytics we are on the job very soon we are going to launch this we are planning a large number of video production in the gap areas simulations augmented reality virtual reality content which will be coming soon even the learning management system which we have developed so uh, that, that also is going to take up some more online courses for the teachers and students 
so that they can learn from home because we know don't know when the schools will be opening and even if the schools open also if there are some covid patients notice then school may be again closed so in that case for that also we are getting ready and for strengthening teacher education institutions also and integrating ict pedagogy and andragogy and now cybergogy so uh, because a lot of cyber uh, space is used uh, being used by students and teachers so we are getting ourselves ready to conclude i must say that there are technology there are plenty of resources human non human everything and uh, we need to use technology and other resources and services and converge all this to achieve learning outcome and the goal and also address the 21st century skills like cooperation collaboration communication creative thinking critical thinking and problem solving and also uh, enable every single child to achieve the learning outcome and uh, also achieve the um, uh, goal uh, particularly the sustainable development goal for uh, in a time bound manner so i my best wishes and let us fight with covid 19 stay safe practice social distancing and learn from home online and uh, um, also take this forward so thank you very much for giving an opportunity uh, to interact with and to listen to many countries experiences i hope uh, me and uh, all my colleagues will learn together and help every child every teacher to learn a comparable quality of education even if they are in covid situation so thank you very much and uh, um, uh, namaskar so now it is um, to the uh, over to the anchor dr udin okay thank you very much dr uh, professor behra for the presentation so what i can recap from the presentation you give you gave a, a, an education scenario in india you also talk about digital education during the covid 19 you talk about the digital initiative at national level at national level you give you gave an overview of diksha swayam nishta ipatsala ipatsala platform and we will surely try to explore these different platforms to facilitate teaching and learning in this meta modern era so you also gave a presentation of curricula for ict in education and the need to collaborate with multiple partners thank you very much for your presentation